always excited, I'm always happy, but somehow I seem more excited because it's July. That means vacation starts this month. And I'm making vacation plans. How about you guys? Do you have vacation plans this summer with family, with loved ones? Yes, it's gonna be very exciting soon during vacation. But it's very exciting right now, and I suggest you don't go anywhere because we have more than a quiz show, a very exciting show today. It's gonna to be cultural with my friends. And where are you from? Let's start the show! Bonjour, friends within Seoul. It's right here in Sore village, Pangbaedong, Seoul. Welcome to the French school in Seoul. About 400 students attend the school. It is a private school fully accredited by the French Ministry of Education. Let's meet the students. Our school is in Korea, but the way we study is then a French school. 90% of the students are French and about 5% are non-Korean foreigners. Here, students of diverse backgrounds study together in French. In our school, kids in different grades study in the same class. Uh, and we can see them thinking of other people and considering others before they take any kind of action. Traditional Korean dance, role-playing activities and more. Their classes are always full of fun and imagination. Also, every year in February, the students all take part in mass parades, just like they do in France. We are studying with a variety of independent city and extraordinary. They'll grow up to be great professionals that represent France. Good luck to all on this episode of Super Kids. Yes, it's time to raise the board, and in this section, they're going to raise the board five times. Hopefully, their boards will be filled with the right answers. Five chances. Those with the most amount of right, correct answers will move forward. Ten people. Ten people only. <laughs> kind of hurts. Kind of painful. Lots of questions. Variety given by Dami. Hey there, Isaac, and hey everyone. I'm so glad to meet all of y'all. Now, I'm going to help you out, of course, with the first round. Raise the board. Now, let me just ask you a simple question. Do you guys like to read books? Well, I know that summer vacation is coming up and you would like to have fun and not, you know, have to do anything with reading. But still, reading books is really good for you and gives you lots of knowledge. So, if you get any time, extra time, then you should read lots of books, as many books as you can. Okay, well, let me go on to the first question, which has to do with space. So listen carefully. This is an agency of the United States government responsible for the nation's public space program. What is the abbreviated name for this organization that carried out the Apollo program which landed men on the moon in 1969? Write your answers, turn your board over. The question again, this is an agency in the U.S. Its job? the nation's public space program. We want the abbreviated name. So United States is US. This space program, very famous. Five, four, three, two, one. Please raise your boards. It's okay. The answer is NASA. Keep your boards up, keep your boards up. That's right, the answer was NASA, which stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Whew, that was kind of long. Good thing they abbreviated it. It would be so cool if I became an astronaut, so then I can, you know, walk on the moon. All right, now this next question is about color, okay? So listen carefully. 
Isaac wants to make purple ink. What color ink does he have to mix with red ink to make purple ink? Isaac, that's me. I want to make purple ink. So what color ink do I need? I have red ink. I want purple ink. What color do I mix? You ready? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Please raise your minds. It's a beautiful color. You see it a lot in France. The color is blue. Wow, what a cool ink ink. All right, now this next question is a math question, okay? And while I'm reading the question, there's a lot of numbers that come out. So it's a good idea to take down some notes, okay? Now, perk up your ears. There were 120 people in a subway carriage. If stopped at a station and 19 people got off and 35 people got on, then how many people are on the subway carriage. There's a subway. In that subway, there's 120 people. 120 goes to a subway station. 19 get off. 35 get on. So how many people are on now? In five, four, three, one second, subway's leaving. Raise your boards, let's see what you got. Come on, come on, guys. <gasps> Did anybody catch the train? The answer is... One, three, six. Yeah! Keep it up, keep it up. Now this fourth question is about a book. So just like I said earlier, if you read lots of books, then it might help you with this question. So listen carefully. In the story Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, Alice follows this animal to find herself in a strange land. There she meets strange characters and experiences bizarre events. What is this animal? There's a book. The book is called Alice in Wonderland. In the beginning of the story, Alice sees an animal and runs after that animal. Do you remember the story? The beginning? Please write down that animal. What is that animal? Is it a giraffe? Is it an elephant? Write it down, turn your boards over, and show us in five, four, Three, two, one second. Raise the boards up. The answer is... Rabbit. rabbit and I remember he was always holding a clock and saying I'm busy too busy too busy always hurrying rushing into things all right now this next question the last question will finally choose who gets to go on to the next round but don't get too nervous now this next question is also about animals all right so think of all the animals that you know because who knows it might be the answer to this question animals often have different names for males females, and babies. An egg-laying mother is called a hen. Its baby is called a chick or a chicken. Then what do you call the male or father of a chicken that is also the national symbol of France? Animals often have different names 
for the male, the female, the baby. So, this animal, the uh, egg-laying mother, is the hen. The baby is called a chick. Five, four, three, two, one. Please show us. Okay, raise the board, raise the board. The answer, we accept two answers. Please show us the answer. Rooster or cock? And after five questions, we have 10 students here. They did a job that was uh, fantastic. Excellent job, guys. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move forward. And we want to thank the lady who helped us. Thanks, Tommy. You're welcome, Isaac. And congratulations to the 10 winners. I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the game. And you know what? It's not goodbye. I'll see you soon. Yes, we will see her in the next round. Let's go to the next round. <laughs> our show, you know that we often go in panic attack to other countries around the world. Now, we're lucky today to have guests that have come to here, our studio. The world has come here. So it's awesome. And I think it's a little bit different. So we're going to have a special performance. Yes, culture has come to our studio. Thank goodness. Special performance. Please give a warm welcome to our performers. <laughs> from the French School of Soul are amazing mm, and singing. Now we have Tommy on stage with those talented people. Going to ask a few questions. All right, well, I'm going to first ask the questions to the people who play the violins because I'm pretty sure I heard the song somewhere, but I can't remember the title. But what's the title of the song? The title is a song from uh, Secret Garden. A song from Secret Garden. That's where I heard it from. All right, so are y'all friends at school? Yes. Okay, did you practice a lot for today's performance? Yes. Yes. You did? All right, yes. so um, well, I want you to say something to your classmates who are going on to the next round. Any words? Um, fighting. <laughs> uh, fighting. And would you like to say anything to your parents or your teachers? Uh, I love you. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, thank you so much for your for a wonderful performance. And now I'm going to ask the ensemble about their song, 
Champs Elysees. Is that is that right? Okay. So, um, could you tell us uh, about your school? Do you like school? I mean, well, I like, like school because my favorite subject is math. Your favorite subject is math. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so, what about you? Um, are you staying here in Korea? Yeah, I live here. Uh, how do you like Korea? Well, I like it very like a much, but a lot. Mm. And uh, I think. Uh, how's your well, how's your Korean? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I know some words, but mm -hmm. still, some you need some more practice. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. And what about you? Um, do you like Korean food here? Yeah. What's your favorite food? Kimchi. <gasps> you like kimchi? It's so spicy, though. It's good. <laughs> oh, it's good. Wow. So you're good at eating spicy food. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your wonderful performance, all right? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you once again. Great performance. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay, now we have a mission. We've got to go on to the next round. Let's do that. Of course, we're not going to go to another country. We're going to stay here and answer some questions. But the rules are the same. We have 10 people. Five can move on. How do you do that? By answering two correctly. All right, let's get to our first question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Bell. Musical. Persian. Garfield. There's bell. Musical. Persian. And Garfield. Those things connected to one word. Those in the audience, if you know it, please be quiet. Yes, we have someone who thinks they know the answer. Church? No, that's not it. Okay, we'll get the mic to you. Cat. He says cat. Yes, cat's right, very good. Sure. There's a story. You know the story about the mouse who ties the thing around the cat? Yes, of course, there's the musical Cats, Persian, a type of cat, and Garfield, a famous cartoon character who's a cat. That's how it's done. Here's our next question. What has something to do with the following words? Fox, red or green, Dionysus, Raisin. Put those together. Yes, 18. Grapes. Yeah, grapes. Very good. Very good, of course. Connected with Dionysus, uh, maybe a little wine. I've got mine here. Oh, this is not wine, this is uh, juice. All right. Here's the next question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Tutankhamen. Inca. Uh, if you get this right, you're going to be the first person to go on to the next round. So are you sure about your answer? OK. Ancient. Ooh, nope. 26. Oh, hold on. Mommy. No. 33 is going to give it a try. Pyramid. Remember, there are four hints to have been given. So number 22, 23, and 33 must wait until everybody has a chance. Let's hear the next hint. Midas. Metal. Put them together. 18. Okay, 18, if you get this right, you're going to be the first person to go on to the next round. So, are you sure about your answer? Okay, well, let's listen to it. Gold. Gold! Very good! One spot filled. 
Sometimes it helps to push your buzzer down fast and you can get the answer before others do. Other times, doesn't work to your advantage. Very good job. First spot filled. Here's the next question. What has something to do with the following words? France. Louis XIV. Number 26. Um, Palace of Versailles. Versailles Palace. Yeah, my God, yeah. Impressive. Good job, Shrek. <laughs> That's right. We had Baroque and the Hall of Mirrors prepared. I've been there. It's an amazing place. Okay, here's our next amazing question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Castle. Hourglass. Desert. Beach. 22's going for it. Sand. Yes, sand! Good job. Right. Bingo. When it gets hot, nice to go to the beach and make sand castles. Hourglass inside sand. Desert, of course. Lots of sand there. And beach, another place where you see a lot of sand. Two spots filled. A lady and a gentleman. Let's go to the next question. What has something to do with the following words? England. Ant. Cleopatra. Egypt. No. Number one, we'll get the mic to you. Hang on a second. Museum of Egypt in London. Good guess. We have one more hint. Do you guys want to hear it? Here it is. Crown. Queen? Yeah, Queen! Very good. We have an excited rabbit. England ant. Of course, there's a queen there. Uh, queen bee, too. Cleopatra and crown, the answer queen. Excellent job. Here's our next royal question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Vincent van Gogh. Wow. <laughs> Artist. Trying to get a jump. Let's hear the next hint. The Diary of Anne Frank. Number 31. Museum. Let's hear the next hint. Windmill. Tulip. Number 26. Flower. That's not it. Number one. Slander buzzer down. Holland. Holland, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Re replacing her hairband with another one. Very good. That's how it's done. Next question, please. What has something to do with the following words? Sinfonica Eroica. Arc de Triomphe. Saint Elaine. Josephine. All right, number 23. Napoleon. Very good. Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte, correct answer, very good. Okay, so I'm looking, uh, right now, there are four people with headbands. So, anybody can move on? Very good, guys, I like the answer spread out. Here's the next question. What has something to do with the following words? Diamond. Ace. 
WBC Major League Number 26 Baseball Home run. Home run. Very good job. Of course, if you hear diamond and ace alone, you might think of cards or something else. But when you hear WBC, World Baseball Classic, or Major League, of course, put them together, come up with the right answer. Next question. What has something to do with the following words? Snow White. Reflection. Makeup. Shoes, shoes. One more hint to go. Glass. Snow White, all right, number one. Magic mirror. Yeah, mirror! A nice balance, two ladies, two gentlemen. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? <laughs> we have one more spot to fill. One more to fill. Here's the next question. <laughs> what comes to mind when you hear the following words? Musical. French Revolution. Victor Hugo. Jean Valjean. Musical, French Revolution, yes, number 31. Marseilles. Yes, number 33. Um, Les Miserables. Well done. I wish I could speak like that. That was beautiful. Okay, that's the right answer. It's also a beautiful musical. Here's the next question. What has something to do with the following words? Medieval. Horse. Sword. Whoa, once again, 33. Number 33, if you get this question right, you're going to be the last final contestant to go on to the next round. Are you sure about your answer? Um, okay, well, let's listen to it. A, a knight? Is that right? Yes, yes it is! is! Very good! <laughs> Great job, two in a row at the end there. Congratulations, 33. And to all five of you contestants, you are moving on to the next round. And uh, we might have a special performance. But before we hear or see any more, I want to say thanks to Dami. You're welcome, Isaac. I had a great time with these kids today. I wonder who's going to become the super kid. But in my heart, everyone is a super kid to me. But I'll see you next week, OK? So bye. See you later. Let's go to the next round. special episode of Super Kids. We have a lot of special guests, including special performances. Before we start our special round, our final round, please let's listen carefully to a wonderful performance by a guitar player. Listen. <laughs> Lendemain, 
sans au cœur de la nuit, l'onde d'espoir, ardeur de la vie, sentier de gloire. Bonheurs enfantins, trop vite oubliés, effacés, une lumière dorée brille sans fin tout au long du chemin. Sans au cœur de la nuit, l'onde d'espoir, ardeur de la vie, sentier de gloire. Ten Little Indians, one of my favorites. I love the guitar. How long have you been playing the guitar? Six months. Six months. Okay, and what grade are you in? Five, fifth. Fifth grade. Very talented. So, do um, you think you will keep on playing the guitar? Yes. Even some rock and roll or stick with the acoustic? Like acoustic. 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 Okay, good choice. Very good choice. Okay, now let's talk to the gentleman. Nice song. Seemed a little sad. What's the song about? Uh, this song is about a abandoned boy. Uh -huh. yeah. And the title is Vois sur ton chemin. It means um, see your way. See your way, okay. Yeah. Pretty depressing, but I really liked it. Very deep, very emotional. Let's talk about something a little lighter. Summer plans. Gonna go anywhere, do anything? Uh, yes, I go to Spain. To Spain? Yes. Okay, watch out for those bulls. You know, unless you're a train fighter, you might get injured. And you? Ah, uh, I will go in France, see my grandparents and my sister. Your sisters? But they're not lost children? They're not abandoned? No, but okay. they're alone. Okay, well, they're watching right now. Say, I love you in French to them. To, mama, to grandma and grandpa and your sisters, you want to say, see, look at the camera and say, I love you to them? In French? In English, French, whatever you like. Je all right, they did a great job, and we love you. Shoot them. Yes, we love you. And we love this round where we finally find a super kid. If you've been a regular viewer, you might think, wait a second, how are we going to do this? It's a special day, special guest, special. Yes, it is special. To find our super kid today, we don't have the final, final round. This is the final round. This is it. Whoever gets the highest score is our super kid today. Please meet our five finalists. Okay, they start with 100 points. They have categories, yes, 10, 20, and 30 point categories. Whoever is a school champion is our super kid today. I'm very excited about it. Let's check out our exciting board. Lots of categories. Ooh, 30 point question about France. Nice, our month, July. We've got sayings, global friends. I'm a big fan of magic. Let's go with a 10 point story question. Remember, behind one of these is a bonus. Get ready, here's the story question. The Three Musketeers is a novel by Alexander Dumas, published in 1844. The story takes place during the Louis XIII's reign in France. It is still loved by many people for its fun characters and exciting plot. What is the name of the main character who becomes friends with the Three Musketeers Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. Famous story, The Three Musketeers is a novel by Dumas. Now we want to know a character's name. This character in the story became friends with those three guys. Arthos, Porthos, Aramis. Someone's missing from that story. One of the friends of The Three Musketeers, almost considered the fourth musketeer. Who is that? Please tell me before the end of five seconds. Let's go. The answer is D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. Oh yeah, I knew that. Okay, you gotta warm up. We'll forgive you. This is warm up time. D'Artagnan, 10 points out the window. 
But we have more questions. Let's go to another 10-pointer. What do you say? How about this? Kind of a riddle. 10 points. Who am I? Who am I? Columbus went to India to find me. Long ago, I was as expensive as gold. <gasps> Number 33! Uh, chocolate? Is it chocolate? <gasps> Number one. Curry? Is it curry? Oh. You want to hear the rest of the hint? Here it is. People like to sprinkle me on meat and soup. Number 22. Salt. He says salt. No. 18. Pepper? Pepper? Bingo! Yeah. That was it. Salt, good guess. Pepper, the answer. Yep, looking for the expensive pepper. Well, very good. So, 18, first to score, 10 points, good start. Now, I know you like math. You mentioned earlier you like school, you like math, but I heard you like books too, right? Yes. Do you have a favorite? Um, Moby Dick. That's a big book! Okay, well, please choose a category, big or small. Uh, sayings. Sayings, a 20-pointer. Here it is. The following sayings all have this word in common. What word goes in all the blanks? Blank and tide wait for no man. Blank flies like an arrow. Blank is money. 18. Time. She says time. Yes. That's right. Sometimes you want to stop at slow down time. Nope, waits for no man. Time flies like an arrow. Time is money, very valuable. Okay, 18, you're on a roll. Global friends. Global friends, one of my favorites. We have a lot of global friends here in the studio, but let's go somewhere else in the world. <laughs> Hi, Super Kids. My name is Katie and I live in Australia. My question is about something that many Australian people like. Listen carefully. This sport was started in Hawaii. You need to be a good swimmer and have good balance. Also, you will need to have a board and good waves. What is this board? Number 26. Surf? He says surf. Yeah, surfing. Everybody's going surfing. Thank you. Thank you, Australia friend. They're great. Some of the best world champions in Australia at surfing. Excellent. 26, I'm guessing that you like sports. And uh, music too, right? Do you play a couple of instruments? Yeah. What do you play? Um, piano and violin. You're also a great singer. Thank you earlier for the explanation and the song. Your choice. Um, magic. Okay. <laughs> Tab Tongs will come out and give us a question. Bonjour, everyone, and welcome to the category magic. And my name is Kim jong -soo. and as you can tell, I'm a magician. Well, I hope you French are having some fun, and I hope to see the last man stand- Wait, it's not the last man standing, it's the last kid standing for the laptop. So, good luck to you all, and here is today's magic. So watch, and then the quiz. Now today's magic is using a champagne glass and a deck of cards. I'm going to put these cards inside this glass, making sure that I can't really even touch them. Now I'm going to find four aces. I want to need a key card each time to find a card. So uh, the first card I'm going to look for, oh, there's a spade. So let's look for a spade, an ace of spades. Now, handkerchief, let's give it a rub. As you can see, it's still. Now, we flip it over and that's spades. Next, the second card I think I'm going to need to find is, let's see, what do we have? I to need to find, oh, here it goes. A club. Now that's a club. 
go down and, and you can see that's ace of clubs. Next, we need another key card. Oh, there's a, a, a diamond, so watch what to do this. Give it a blow and that's an ace of diamonds. Last but not least, a heart, because I love you guys. Take a handkerchief, rub it one more, and that comes out to be the ace of hearts. And seal in a champagne glass. See? The ace of hearts. I love you guys. Now, did you guys enjoy today's magic? Now, in my magic, one of my biggest things, elements that have people like is that there's a live animal in my magic. Do you see a live animal? A live animal? No, it's a joke. Well, today's quiz is about an imaginary animal. Now, this animal is known to be white, also has a form of a horse, and is known to have a horn right here. So, what is this animal? Also, this animal means your team. Eee! What do you think it is? Number 33. Unicorn. Is that correct? Yes, yes it is correct! <laughs> I heard, number 33, that you want to be a chef in the future. Yeah. So, you're pretty good at cooking? Mm-hmm. And is there someone helping you with the cooking lessons? Uh, my dad. Wow, so he's, he's a pretty good cook. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I hope you come back in the future and feed us. We're hungry. <laughs> Food, please. Okay, choose a category. Um, nature. Nature. Okay, another 20 pointer. We get a lot of energy that we use from nature. For example, the sun, wind, and water. In particular, Waterfalls are very useful for energy generation and tourist attractions. Now here is the question. The world's top three waterfalls are Niagara Falls in North America, the Victoria Falls in Africa, and this waterfall. What is the name of this waterfall that is located on the border of Brazil and Argentina? Gotta know your geography and your waterfalls. Okay couple of big waterfalls we mentioned. We talked about Niagara Falls in North America, border of Canada, US, Victoria Falls in Africa. Now this waterfall, big, huge, it's located on the border of Brazil and Argentina. What can it be? Big, big waterfall begins with a big letter I. I'll give you five seconds. The answer, Iguazu, Iguazu. Hey, Iguana Zoo, Iguazu. Yes, 20 points, out the window. It's okay, still we have four 30 point questions. None of you have used your, has used your chance yet, so you can double that, no problem at all. Who chose last time? Was it the chef? Please choose another delicious category. Music. Music, the first 30 pointer. If you wanna use your chance, press your buzzer down. Nobody? The song that you are hearing now is called La Donna Emobile from Verdi's opera, Rigoletto. The singer of this song is from Italy and famous around the world. Yes, 33. Pavarotti? Is that right? Yeah! Very good. She knows her Italian singers and her Italian dishes. Okay, chef, please continue. France. France, okay. Chances are going down. One, 26, anybody else? 18. 33. The Thinker by Rodin is thinking. 22, can I hang on? Okay, listen. For you, it's worth 30. Everybody else, worth 60. We go to the category France. 129 meters above sea level, this hill is the highest point in Paris. 
The name of this place means the Hill of Martyrs. These days, it is famous as a district for artists and art students. What is the name of this place? 129 meters above sea level. It's a hill, the highest point in Paris, the highest point in Paris. The name of this place means the meaning of the hill. The name means Hill of Martyrs. Hill of Martyrs. Nowadays, famous as a district for artists, art students. We want to know the name of this place, which means the Hill of Martyrs. It sounds like that might go into the name. Hill of Martyrs, the Mountain of Martyrs. Number 33. Uh, La Montagne des Martyrs. C'est vrai? <laughs> oh, no, it's not. So, 33, ch 33, chance goes down. Yes, number one. La Colline des Martyrs. Sounds like a translation. Anybody else want to take a guess? Everybody else? Three seconds. Three. Two, Eighteen. Mon Martyr. One more time, please. Mon Martyr. I just... Yeah! That's right! Wow! Yes. Chance goes down. Thank you. Woo! That was a big one. That was a big one. Worth 60 points. Very big. Right now you're in the lead. Montmartre. I guess the pronunciation is a little bit off for me, but Mountain of Martyrs. Translation. One word. Very good. Okay. Got to look at the scoreboard. Let's look at the scoreboard. Number one. Right now, 100 points. 18 in the lead, 190, got that big bonus one. 2,200 points as well. The last guy to have a chance. 26, 120 in third place, and 33 in fourth with 140. Very good. We've got two 30-point questions. One 20-point, one 10, and one chance. And a bonus question somewhere. What's your choice, 18? Where? Where? Number 22. Gotta ask. Chance, no chance? Um. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. For you, possible 60 points. Let's go to where? This place is often called Paradise on Earth. It is the most populated island of French Polynesia. 26. Hawaii? Is it Hawaii? No. Number one. La Guadeloupe. Is that it? Oh. 26, number 18. Guyane. Oh, no. All right, guys. 22, waiting for you. got the chance there. It's a big question. Come on. Make a guess. For 22 and 33. Three seconds. Three, two, one. One more time, please. Tahiti. Yeah! Okay. With that number 26, you are now in second place. 10 points ahead of number 33. Close game, everybody, close game. 110, 120, and one 30 point question. Number 26, what's our next category? Uh, 30 point of July. July. It's a bonus question. Whoa! Okay. Doesn't matter what your score is. Whoever gets this right gets the big prize. Good luck to everybody. Here's our July question. The seventh month of the year, July, is named after the last ruler of Rome, Julius Caesar. The eighth month of the year is also named after a very important ruler in Roman history. Who was the first emperor of ancient Rome that the eighth month of the year was named after? Number 22. Augustus. He says Augustus. Yeah, very good. Okay, Augustus, excellent job. 
kind of thinking, man, I should use my bonus at this time. Oh, that happens. That happens. All right. So very good, John, number 22, David. Yes, not uh, D'Artagnan. I heard you like baseball, right? Yeah. And do you have a favorite team? Uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Okay, the Dodgers. Equal or total, which one is it? Total. Total for 20. Let's go to it. Please add up the following and give us the total number. The largest number on a clock face. The number of starting players on a soccer team. Number 22. 11. Number 1. 12. 26. 22. You guys want to hear the rest of the hint? Okay, 18 and 33 only. Everybody else has to wait. Here's the rest of the hint. The total number of people on Leonardo da Vinci's painting, The Last Supper. 18. 32. Is that right? <laughs> Gotta wait, number one. 33, your chance. You're the only one who didn't make a guess. I'll give you three seconds, then everybody comes back alive. You want to add these up. You got the largest number on the face of a clock. The number of starting players on a soccer team. Total number of people in that painting by Leonardo da Vinci, The Last Supper. Three, two, one. Total number? 18. 36. 36? Good job! Okay. Very good. Very good. You, you got to add those up. We have the largest number on a face clock, which is? 12. 12. Of course, the uh, starting players on the soccer team, which is? Six. Six. I Six. think it's 11. 11. And then last supper, there were 13 people. Add them up, is 36. OK. <laughs> yes, number one? <laughs> All right. So we have one more category left for 10 points. Equal. Here it is. Look at the relation between the following words, then figure out what word should go in the blank. France is to Paris equals Italy is to blank. Yes, number 26? Roma. Roma? Yeah. A lot of effort, a lot of skill, a lot of good answers. A lot of points, yeah. But we have one clear winner. She has the most points, 210. School champion and today's super kid. It is number 18, congratulations! Oh. Here she is, our school champion. You had a good time? Yes. And uh, how do you feel? Great. You wanna say hi to anybody in TV land? My parents and my little sister. Okay, go ahead. Look at the camera and, and give them a big hello. Uh, I hope you're looking at TV. I'm a, I'm, sup, I'm a super kid. One more time, camera three, please. Um, hello, parents. I'm Bona. I'm on TV. Cool. Okay, you guys had a good time today? Yeah! Thank you. Please come again and please come again. We'll be back again next week with another episode of Super Kids. Bye bye! Super Kids has some really great prizes to give away. A notebook computer for the Super Kid. MP3 players for second to fifth place winners. And Child U Online Education one month membership for everyone on the show.